All right. Hello, everyone. How are you today? It's K. So this is the uh, 20th of October, and this is on Wednesday. So this is a recorded video. It's not the live stream. So uh, please uh, keep in mind that uh, there is no chat comment box. So if you have any uh, opinions or questions about this video contents, uh, please leave it on the comment below so that um, I can uh, screen and see that and answer to it in my future live streams or videos. But this is a video session because um, I have to leave very soon. So uh, this is actually recorded at, uh, hold on, let me squeeze my face. So this is recorded right now at uh, uh, 101 p.m. in UTC time zone. So uh, I was actually gonna do the live stream today, a bit earlier time, but uh, I uh, just I took a nap. I took a nap today and I just woke up like five minutes ago and I will have to leave in about like uh, one hour or so. And that's why I just decided to do a quick video capture or so that uh, you know uh, what's happening in the market as per Ichimoku viewpoint and also in terms of uh, uh, bullish bearish uh, from yesterday. So uh, looks like we have many trending pairs today too, but some are retracing. So uh, let's take some charts, forex charts first, and uh, see what's happening right now. So uh, for those new, for new to my channel, my name is Kay, and I am a full-time forex trader here in Dubai. So my main intention for this YouTube channel is to help you become a non-losing trader. So that's why I share my knowledge of Ichimoku Kinkou-hyo to capture trend and reversal uh, markets. So yeah, let's get started. So before that, quick disclaimer, this, uh, disclaimer is uh, this content is basically based on my understanding, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also, since this is a video session, uh, if you can follow the guidelines and rules, on this, that will be great on the comment box. Okay, so uh, yeah, so let me turn to the Forex uh, charts. So here is the trading view. So um, Euro Dollar is now retracing backwards, but as you can see, this is no trend. No trend, the Kumo's flat right now, Kijun Sen down, but the price is going up. So this is divergence between Kijun Sen and uh, uh, market direction. So looks like market is heading towards back to the Kijun Sen and it bounces and goes down this way. It's my view, but uh, we'll see. It may break the Kijun Sen and reach back to the Kumo. So let's see which way it goes next week or this week. But right now I will stay away because there is no direction in this pair. So the ones that I see the directions were first of all Euro AUD. This uh, Euro AUD has been very very strong today onwards. Uh, yesterday the market was so bearish and today is also bearish. Although it's a bit weak, it's a bit weak, uh, you know, uh, market uh, direction. But this is for sure a downtrend still. We see the beautiful Kumo, single span B's down. And Senko Span A's down and Kijun Sen down and Tenkan Sen down and Chiko Span below the candles. So this is nicely downtrending. And it looks like market is down. And uh, the target is at the previous support levels from the May this year, which is 1.5417. So yeah, I expect the market go down to that level and it bounces and it may break through. Furthermore, or retraces backwards. So if you're selling right now, this 1.4517 will be a potential target. Okay, so uh, yeah, but this is a nice move. It's nice, nice move here, and it's downtrending nicely, very much. All right, so let's move on to the Euro JPY. Right, Euro JPY is up still now. It is up. We see Kumo's up, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up and the Chikou span above the candles. But on this one, if you see the Kumo shape, this is very thin. The Kumo shape is very thin, and that means the market can retrace backwards anytime soon. 
So, and also there was a previous resistance, resistance level at 113.66. So the market could touch there and retrace. Or even if the market doesn't touch that level, it retraces backwards too sometimes. So um, Euro JPY, since this looks to be overheat, overheated market, overbought market by the Kumo shape, I don't feel positive to buy right now. Today is actually a bearish candle. So if today is close, we'll be in bearish candle. And then from tomorrow, could be retracement. So um, yeah, we have to hold until which way really goes in the market. Otherwise, we better stay away from this one and look at other uh, stable trend direction markets. So the next one is USDJPY. Yeah. USDJPY is also up nicely today too. We see Kumo's up, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen up, and a Chikou Span above the candles. And the Kumo is not too thick, but not too thin. And this is okay Kumo, I would say. A bit thin, but uh, this is a strong and stable uptrend indication. So there was a resistance level here in between 114.50 and 114.75 there is a resistance zone here this is something that i mentioned yesterday too so i was expecting the market retraces and looks like today's candles bullish sorry today's candles bearish so it's resisted here it's been resisted so uh, let's see if the market retraces back to a tenkan sen and bounces and continuously goes up this way or not so I think the yeah, market will re retrace back to the Tenkan Sen and bounce. It's my scenario. So today is not a good timing to buy. And tomorrow, if the market doesn't reach back to Tenkan Sen, I don't think it's a good uh, timing to buy that e either. So uh, simply, this looks to be in the middle of the retracement. So uh, I will avoid from this one for today. And next one is a pound daughter. Pound daughter here on the daily chart, it's a complete range. It just goes up and down, complete range, Kumo flat, Jun Sen is down, and Chikou Span too close for the candles, and this is range in market. But if you look at the forward chart, this is up. You see the forward chart, Kumo Senko Span A is up, and Kijun Sen up. And also, we had the Kijun Sen bounce. Uh, happening first today so whenever you see Kijun Sen bounce it shows a strong uh, market momentum so I still expect the market goes up and breaks the resistance level of 1.3829 so yeah it looks looks like this is too bullish and I just uh, have to wait for the uh, the bullishness in the lower time frames also and look for buy and expect the market breaks the resistance level so but yeah pound dollar is bullish as per ichimoku viewpoint and also pound yen is bullish in the forward chart now if you look at the daily chart this is bullish too but you see the kumo is too small so market can retrace backwards anytime soon but if you look at the forward chart you have the better kumo here thicker and longer kumo and single span b is up and a is up Jun Sen, Tenkan Sen both up and Chikou Span above the candles. So this is a nicely bullish trend. So the market looks to be breaking the Tenkan Sen, but now it may bounce by the Kijun Sen and continuously goes up in this way. But once the market re uh, breaks the Kijun Sen, then you don't want to look for buy chance anymore. So if you're buying right now, the Kijun Sen or slightly below the Kijun Sen will be a stop loss level. And expect the market goes up continuously in, the in this direction. But once you see the Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat, that's when you have to look for the exit timing. Because in that case, the equilibrium between the buyers and sellers become 50 50. So you have to exit in the 50 50 chance. Right now, it's up. So I do see more buyers than sellers for these equilibriums because these are showing uptrending. But once you see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, then that's when you have to exit. Because it might be traced backwards all the way. 
So, uh, but yeah, pound yen so far is upgrading. So we can keep an eye on this one too. Right, so we have many trending pairs. So let's go on to the next one, pound AUD. The pound AUD daily chart is downtrending. We see Kumo down and Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down also, and Chikou Span below the candles. And we already saw that there was a Tenkan Sen bounce once and twice, and now it's going down. So that means although the market might retrace backwards, it will be resisted by the Tenkan Sen and continuously go down this way. So this is a very sharp, very strong downtrend, I believe. So yeah, I think Euro Pound, uh, sorry, Pound AUD is a good one to look for the sell chance today because um, there is no previous support. Uh, there are some minor supports here, but the uh, the major support previously was here uh, at uh, 1.8255 from the July this year. So my view is that the market will go down to that level and we ha still have from here, we still have uh, more than 100 pips, like 130 pips range to trade. So I think this is a nice one, nice market to watch. The pound AUD, this is good. We can look for the sell chance in the lower time frames. And then the next one is AUD USD. AUD USD just broke the previous resistance level at 0.7480. And now it's going up. We see Kumo's up, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen up, and a Chikou Span above the candles. But on this daily chart, you see Kumo's a bit too small, tiny. So in this case, I follow the forward chart because in the forward chart, it's got longer and much thicker Kumo here. It shows more stable uptrend in the forward chart. So in terms of the markets after the market bounces, the Tenkan Sen previously, it just goes up and now they're about to touch. And once the, the market and the Tenkan Sen touches, most likely it will be bouncing and goes up in this way. So uh, yeah, I think this one is also a nicely uptrend. So, uh, so there was a previous resistance, resistance level at 0 0.7480. So it might retrace backwards here. So just watch out for the retracement. Be careful. Whenever it backwards, especially when the market breaks, the Tenkan Sen in this case, I would exit. But as long as the market is above the Tenkan Sen, I simply trail the profits along the way because this is a strong uptrend and we see the pattern of the bounce by the Tenkan Sen twice here now. So uh, yeah, this one is up. And the next one is AUDJPY. And I look at the daily chart. Yeah, so this one is up too. I was also talking about this one uh, yesterday, live stream. But uh, the market is exactly in between the range of 85.24 and 85.79. You squeeze the chart all the way. Now, that was a re uh, resistance range from the May this year. So let's see if it breaks. And it looks like the bullish strong, bullish Power is very strong, so I I just made these arrows. So I thought the market go either breaks straight and goes up, or it might be resisted around this area and reverses backwards and push back and goes up in this direction. So that's why I have these two scenario patterns. Um, but uh, since Kumo's up, Kijun Sen up, I do expect the market breaks. It might break without any retracement so uh yeah we'll see we'll see but i think this one is also a good chance to buy because once the market breaks the resistance it goes very fast in that direction so i think in that in that sense it's worth to watch today so the next one is aud sys run this one is also up very nicely uptrend in the daily chart the kumo up Kijun sen tenkan sen up and chikou span above the candles and the market just broke the doji candlestick previously um, yesterday. Doji breakout happened and now it shows a continuous uptrend. And also um, this one is, I also mentioned about this one yesterday that about one hour chart, we see the Y wave. So here's one hour chart 
and you can draw the line like this up move and um, so resistance the highs are higher and it just broke upwards and afterwards it became retest and bouncing and goes up in this way so I would say that this is a very strong uptrend after the breakout of the Y wave so I expect the market go up in this direction continuously and now it's retracing backwards but uh, if you look at the daily chart one more time this is all the way above the Tenkan Sen so um, I think the market will go up straight continuously and the target will be next run number of 0 0.700 which is also the previous resistance level is my target so let's move on to the CADJPY so we have many pairs to talk about because right now it's active and lots of pairs are trending right now so here is CADJPY we see the Kumo's up and the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen both up and it's Chikou Span above the candles so this is also a nice uptrend but for the last three days the market are a bit retracing or a bit range because I do see doji candles and very not really strong uptrend indications so and also there is a resistance level of 93.15 which was a resistance level all the way from uh, back in uh, here back in November 2015 so the market reaching to that level and it may retrace because the market does not really show very strong uptrend yet so uh, it might retrace backwards maybe to the Tenkan Sen and bounces and goes up is my opinion so the Kumo continuously be bullish and Kijun Sen continuously be bullish if the market retraces then Kijun Sen might go flat at that time but once there's a pushback at some point the Kijun Sen will start to go up and I think that will be a perfect timing to look for buy chance Mochikou Span should be above the candles all the time but uh, that will be the scenario so in this particular pair Cat JPY I don't feel positive to buy right now because retracement can happen in this condition right the last one is Swiss Fran JPY yeah Swiss Fran JPY daily chart is also strongly bullish we see uh, Kumo's up Kijun Sen is flat but the Tenkan Sen is up and Chikou Span above the candles and if you look at the flower chart this is more stable uptrend uh, right now we see the Kumo's up looks like Kijun Sen became flat but there is a nice bounce there was a nice bounce over the Kijun Sen so the market could retrace and goes up continuously in that direction so in this case you can draw the line you can draw this uh, trend line like this way and as, as long as the market is on the trend line that will be potential buy and expect the market breaks upwards but if the market breaks this trend line or the Kijun Sen downwards then you don't want to trade anymore because it retraces backwards at that point all right so these are the on my overview for these all the markets and looks like markets are active now still market breaks previous resistance levels and support levels in the daily chart forward chart I do see many pairs so oh yeah and let's look at the gold first let's look at the gold also because gold right now is it it's a bullish trend as per daily chart so the gold is today is bullish so it's a bullish day today but if you see the overall market this is still within the range because the price within the Kumo here and Kumo is flat Kijun Sen flat and Chikou Span touching so as per daily basis we don't know which way it's going it may go up or down and we can't tell which way it's going so in this case I look at the lower time frames so for example I look at the forward chart and I see three bounce on this uptrend line and after that I do see that there is a bullish in the wave forming like this so I do see that there is a potential um, bullishness here so it may trace back to the uh, Kijun Sen or Kumo 
and then bounce and goes up in this way. So when it happens, then Kumo will show up, and Kijun Sen will turn bullish, which span needs to be above the candles, and afterwards, I will look for the buy chance. But not now. This is not a good time to buy, because it might retrace backwards anytime soon. So yeah, let's just wait for the bullish confirmation by Ichimoku in the forward chart, and then look for where to buy afterwards. So yeah, these are my overview for these markets. So but yeah, looks like we have many pairs trending today too. Um, so first one was Euro AUD wrap up Euro AUD daily chart. Um, it's downtrending, downtrending nicely, and Euro JPY. It's a nice wrap trending as per daily chart, but the Kumo is a bit too thin, so it might be traced backwards. And Dollar Yen is uptrending also. This one is much better than Euro JPY in terms of Kumo thickness. This is long enough, and this is. Not too thick, but this is okay thickness and the market's going down, market's going up, so it can break the resistance level. So, and also the next one is pound dollar. In the forward chart, it is up still, and the market is bouncing by the Kijun Sen and it goes up. So, it may break the previous resistance level of 1.3829 level and continuously be bullish in this direction. And the next one also is pound yen. Pound yen has much thicker kumo and longer kumo than pound USD. So I think this one is better in that sense. So the market is about to break the resistance level since this is on still the bullish in the wave. So it might be traced back to the Kijun Sen and bounces and goes up in this way, is expected. Right? And pound AUD daily chart is bearish. So I expect the market will go down to target 1.8255. And the AUD USD is up in the daily chart, but in the forward chart it's more reliable because this is it's got thicker Kuma and longer Kuma. And it's about to break the resistance level. We'll see. And AUD JPY in the daily chart it is bullish. And since there was a previous resistance resistance level at 85.79. It's about to break, so that's a good one too. And AUD is run, this one is also up nicely, so the market could reach all the way up to the next run number of 0 0.70. And CADJPY also is bullish, and it's about to break and reach to the next target, 93.15. And finally, Sysfran JPY, this is bullish, and it is about to break the resistance level of 124.06 so once you confirm the breakout then you can follow the uptrend or in the forward chart in the forward chart the kumo is better so once it breaks once it breaks that way then uh, that will be a great buy chance if it happens okay so that was the overview for these markets and quickly in terms of the news for today we had the CPI report in Canada, but uh, the rest of the day, we don't see any big trends, big, uh, big events. So uh, simply we trade based on the technical analysis and indicators. So uh, yeah, once again, thank you for joining today. So this was a recorded video session, was not the live stream, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully you can capture some nice pips today. Or this week because markets are active now so we have the active trending too and trace all right so thank you for watching until the end if you liked it please place the like button and in case if you don't miss the future live stream videos please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as i upload the videos or announcements later on so until i see you next time please stay healthy stay safe and stay gold all right for now Matane. Thank you.